Hey, Shalom Israel. Hey, I'm going to do this quick so I can see what's going on. Y'all see this? Let's see if I can do it. Can you see that? I believe you can see it. Y'all see that? In all its splendor and glory. Hey. First and foremost, I want to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for pushing the 100% truth, for keeping it real, and the one and the 144,000 of Israel, the hopeful elect, or the elect, should I just say, was pushing this work in all truth and sincerity, pushing out the word, keeping you know, keeping it strong, man. And, of course, the one-third of Israel who believe in the 100% truth, who believe in the word, and follow the land where he goeth, okay? Yeah, man, I was sitting around this, sitting around this morning, you know, um, not just sitting around, but you know what I mean. Sitting down, uh, moping around, just thinking in my head, am I good enough, am I worthy? Uh, because you have ups and downs, you have the... The um, you know the be low in the spirit sometime, or you not doubt in the word, not doubt in your shy, but doubt in yourself. Am I? Am I? Am I up there? Am I good? You know what I'm saying? Am I doing a good job? Things like that. And then lo and behold, I have said my prayers. Of course, you know, ask the Lord to direct my footsteps for the day and everything. And um, here we come, so-called buddy of mine. Send me that. That's what I what I just showed you. And it says it says uh Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Enjoy. Right? With a lot of with a love heart and a smile with lovey eyes, smiley face, and then a Christmas tree, of course. Then it says, send this to all your friends and family, including me, right? And they always Got these scriptures or some 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 junk. Always talking about some send this to a thousand people, send this to a hundred people. Because what? They're spreading the word of their their father, the devil, man. They're spreading the word of their father, the devil. Let's get into these scriptures. And today is uh, I'm gonna try to make this super quick, man. Cause I gotta I gotta go. I really have to go. But this is my first love right here. Uh. So we're gonna read, we're gonna read these scriptures quickly, okay, y'all? I want this to be a short one, but I know, you know, it's hard to be, it's hard for them to be short. I'll be trying, but I really try to make a short one sometimes. Okay, look, we're gonna go to. Uh, Zechariah chapter 13 and 8 and it says and it shall come to pass that in all the land said Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein see and we be we be telling we, we come in bringing out the word man bringing out this truth because there's some serious business man it's serious and and uh, we know we believe these words and that's why we're blowing the trumpet. Sound the alarm loud as loud as can be. And it's like you're screaming. Like you're screaming to deaf children, man. But hey, the Lord has, has let us know that hey, everything gonna be alright, ultimately, okay? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, man. Once again, we have to reiterate these things over and over again. Who is the heathen? All the other nations, anybody that's not an Israelite. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay? Now, we talking about, he's talking about the signs of heaven. He's talking about the blood moons. He's talking about the UFOs. He's talking about all the signs of heaven that let us know what time frame we're in. You know, because these are going to be signs uh, for just so we'll know that, hey, we're getting close to the end and all these things. And then when the chariots come, 
don't be dismayed. Be happy when you see a chariot, man, because you know, hey, they're coming around even more frequently these days and let us know that they're watching everything and that time is, is, is fastly approaching. For the customs of the people are in vain. The customs of the people, right? Because our customs are not in vain. Our customs are written down right here. Our heritage of the things we should be doing. Keeping the Sabbath days. Keeping the high holy days. Okay, those are not in vain. But the customs of the people or the traditions of men are in vain. The customs of the people are in vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of man's hands, with an axe. And that's what, and this is beautifully read out about, that's what this Christmas tree thing is all about. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moves not. Okay, they are upright as a palm tree. But speak not, they must, they must need be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Okay, so the Lord is saying, don't, don't, don't worry about them things, but don't follow the ways of the heathen. And he's pointed out specifically what he's talking about right there, man. All right, even though the whole world is doing all these things, they're pushing all this deception on you, to, uh, and they try to entice you. You see how pretty that thing was? It's really gorgeous, man. But that's not where it's at. This is in vain. It means nothing. Okay? Let's go to the book of Romans real quick. And this is life. Life is precious right now. We don't want to do things. Uh, we we want to do things that, that mean something, man. But look. We're going to get down to it right here. This is a Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which is seeking for? No, they, they're running behind, fastly behind the heathen. Okay? Trying to be accepted. So they're trying to take over their customs and do, do it even better than them. You know what I'm saying? Spend all their money even though they don't have none. On all these stupid holidays and traditions of men that mean nothing. They're in vain. Has Israel not obtained that which is seeking for? Because they're seeking for acceptance. They're th seeking for some love, man. After all this hate that they've been pushed on them. But the election have obtained it. We have obtained it, man. Because we got the understanding and the knowledge to know that the Heavenly Father loves us, man. And we can run after Him and seek after Him. Not after all these other nations. Not try to find, uh, uh, find uh, hope in man. And have trust in man that don't, that don't care nothing about you, man. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest are blinded. No matter how many times we tell them and read that scripture to them in the Bible. Hey, the Lord say, hey, don't be doing this thing, man. The brother told me, he did tell me, the one that sent me this. He said, I don't understand. I said, okay. I said, what that, it's written that you, you're not going to understand it, man. You know, so the Lord had him to send me that thing this morning. So I... When in turn we'll be able to make a lesson off of it because I'm just sitting around. But now I don't, I got the I, now I got the fire man. Now the Lord <laughs> give me the fire up in there. So I was like, oh! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was I didn't I didn't even respond to him because once again I was gonna say, hey man, the Lord said don't do that. But how many times am I gonna say that to him, man? How many times? Because he said he he already told me he don't understand it, man. That's why the Lord said love your enemies, okay? And he's talking about the Israelites. Is this thing recording? Yeah, okay, good. He's talking about love your enemies because the Lord put him on, put that on them so they wouldn't understand, okay? But they're still your brethren. Even though they're enemy to Yahweh Shai right now, but ultimately their spirit going to be uh, rejuvenated back, you know, through our loins if we are the uh, 144 of Israel and the one third of Israel that are saved out of this out of this hellhole, save and have salvation out of this, all of this. So, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 6. And when the sun was up, there was scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among the thorns and sprung up and choked them out. Uh, Wait a minute, hold on, y'all. I don't think this is what this what this is not what I wanted. Hold on. Hmm. 
Okay, it, sorry, it's, it's uh, Matthew 13 and 16. It says, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, man. We're going we're gonna to jump up to 15, though. Matthew 13 and 15. For this people's heart is waxed gross, man. And their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes, they have closed. Okay, because they're too, so busy. Still trying to please the heathen instead of trying to please Yahweh by Shimmy How Shai. You know what I'm saying? Trying to save face because they don't have no faith in Yahweh by Shimmy How Shai. But they, they, they rather try to try to look good to all the people around, uh, to, to the other people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we we doing it, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got the biggest tree. We get, Oh, yeah, look, we, we all in. Instead of uh, fearing the Lord, right? And obeying God rather than men. See, because this word right here is put here for a reason. And if you read uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2, you come on, man. And you still want to celebrate Christmas? For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes are have and the, and their eyes they have closed. Least at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and shall understand with their heart and should be converted and I shall heal them. And then it says, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, man. Because don't forget now, this is what that's why in the Apocrypha it says that, uh, you know, they, the mercy is there, but they, repentance, the place of repentance is there, but they understood it not. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand that, hey, this is the time to repent and go all in when you hear and, and when you hear something that you would have to have faith in not something that you were taught when you was a child but when you when you hear who the messiah really is and what he's really about that's when you have true faith to go out on that limb okay while everybody else is still going to believe in the in the false bs that's been shoved down their throat but the true words of the bible here we, we, well now we uh, to, by the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and the teachers of uh, Great Millstone, we're starting to understand these things. See, but that's where your your faith should come in at, man. That's why the Lord said, "But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear." Because a lot of people they see and hear these things, and they still continue on because they don't they don't see it, they don't get it. Okay, now we're gonna go to Second uh, John, real quick. That's Second John, chapter one. It says, the elder of the elect lady and her children whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth, okay? For the, for the truth's sake which dwelleth in us and shall be with us forever. Grace be with you, mercy and peace. For Yahweh the Father, and from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai the Son, of the Father in truth and love. Okay? It says, I rejoice greatly that I found of my, thy children walking in truth as we have received a commandment from the Father. Okay? And one of the commandments is not to learn the ways of the heathen. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning that we love one another. And this love is, and, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments, man, to the best of our abilities. This is the commandment, that as ye here have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. Okay? That's why he said, uh, go back to the past, go back to the, go seek out the, the path, the old path, man. The ways of our forefathers, because they were closer. You know what I'm saying? They did, they did it. They were living it. Because they knew they were Israelites. There was no break in there was no break in it. You know, like we have a break. We have to go re relearn everything, you know. But they were raised up knowing that they were the Israelites with the with the uh heritage and everything. For many deceivers, let's read that last part of it. That as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. Okay, so now we hear we're hearing it. Now we should go back to the seek the old paths, okay? It says, and not the past that these people have set forth with this, with this false Christianity garbage, right? 
talking about everybody can make it, make it in the kingdom of heaven. When it clearly tells you uh, that the gates of heaven are who? The 12 tribes of Israel, man. The Messiah himself said, I only call them for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. But no, these lying devils deceiving everybody, talking about some, oh no, he didn't mean that. He, yeah, Oh, we can be grafted into Israelites. No, no, because it says by the flesh, by the seed, man. It says, for many deceivers are entered into the world, bam. So to deceive you, even though it tells you right here, don't follow the ways of the heathen. Don't be, don't be putting up no tree, uh, fastening it with nails, putting silver and gold on it. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh. And then th that goes right back to the Old Testament only uh, Isra Israel. You know what I'm saying? Because for all Israel is not Israel. And so on and so forth. The atheists. Just the total non-believers. The ones that also believe in so-called name Jesus Christ. They're not talking about the Messiah. They're talking about a fictional character over here. They're talking about a real man, Caesar Borgia. You know what I'm talking about? They're not talking about the one, the, the, the word. They're not talking about the words in this Bible. No. They're talking about the tra traditions of men, false God and false idol Messiah. That's who they're talking about. Let's see. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an anti antichrist. Exactly, because they're going against the scriptures. Many churches actually promote Christmas, my man. Easter, New Year's, worship it on, on Sunday. You know what I'm talking about? But no, they they they're in they 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 love they love the Lord. They don't love the Lord, man. It says, look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought but that we receive a full reward. And that's what that's what I was sitting there this morning thinking, am I, am I good enough, you know? Yeah. What can I do now, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? But what the Lord say, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Do the, follow the commandments, man. Okay, so that's what, yeah. So I need to do this this morning. I need to listen to the brothers that's doing it. You see? That's right. But that we receive a full reward, man. Whosoever transgresseth and abided not in the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, hath not God, have not, have not Yahweh. He that abided in the doc doctrine of Yahweh Shai, he had both the Father and the Son. Okay? If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him good speech, neither bid him God's speech. For he that abided him, God's speech is partaker of his evil deeds. And that's what I that's what I was saying early on in the ministry when I invited that pastor up here, man. He's talking about he's speaking in tongues and everything. He's trying to convert me to Christianity. I think that was this so this is the last passage I said to him, man. Because I didn't talk I had talked to him like three or four times, man. And every time I had him up here, you know, and I was trying to show him the show him and you know what we have learned about how the Lord only came for the Israelites and it's just over and over again the, the proof and even and from that time to now I even see it even more clearer you know but he couldn't get it he kept trying to he kept trying to convert me to Christianity and I just I just sent him this package passage here and I told him you know what man I, I ain't gonna bring I, I'm not gonna invite you over to you no more man because it says here if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine receive him not into your house Neither bid him God speed. For he that uh, bided him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Having many things to write unto you, I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you and speak face to face that our joy may be made may be full. The children of the elect sister greet thee. Amen. Okay? That's what we're talking about right there, man. Now let's go back to the book of Romans. We're going to go back to Romans uh, 3 and 3. we will try to wrap this up in a minute. This book of Romans chapter 3 and 3. We all know this. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Shimei Shai without effect? 
God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in, this, in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged, man. That's right, we stay stead firm, we stay firm in this truth, man. Look, we're going to go, keep on, we're going to stay in Romans, we're going to go to chapter 11, verse 13. For I speak to you, Gentiles, insomuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. And this is Paul saying this. He's speaking to who? The Gentiles. Which are really who? The Israelites who don't know that they're Gentiles. I mean, who don't know that they're Israelites. Because just like these, just like these people, they're following the customs of the heathen, like they're bidden not to do. So they don't know they're going off, man. The church is already promoting that they, they should do these things. So they think they're following the Lord, but they're not. So they're Gentiles. And that's why we, we're calling, we're blowing the trumpet like, well, like the Lord told us to do. And letting these people know, hey, y'all going off. If by any means I, I may provoke to immolation that them which are my flesh and might save some of them. And might save who? Some of them. Because we already read in the beginning, two thirds will be cut off. That's why I read that first. Because two thirds are not gonna, they're not gonna believe it, man. Okay? For if the casting away of them be reconciled of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? That's right. So if the Lord cast them away and they go out back into the world, but then the receiving of them back. They're alive because now they're in the valley of the shadow of death. They're dead, man. This this word makes you alive and brings you back. Brings you back. It says, For if the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches, man. And that's what they talk about, the branches being grafted back in. Because they just because they cut off don't mean, you know, they, they're like half dead. You know, they're in the valley of the shadow of death, but when you graft something back onto the tree, it, it takes its nutrients from the tree and starts to be, be revived again, okay? So therefore, that's why you cannot be uh, a spiritual Israelite being grafted back in. That's false. That's not true. So these people that know the Lord's only talking about the Israelites, but they, so they're trying to, trying to uh, cleave on to the Israelites, you can't do that. It's only for uh, the flesh, man. You got to be born into this. You can't be talking about some old oh, spiritual Israelites. No, you can't. That's like trying to graft in an iron pole onto a tree. Let's say something like that. The tree is dead. Let's say it said like that. The tree is alive, but the iron pole is another element. You see? So the other nations are not of the same element as, the, as, the, as the God's chosen people. Something like that. How's that sound? That sounds right. So let's say the other nations are like the iron pole. The, uh, the, the children of the Lord are a living tree. Now you cannot put the iron, you can't graft the iron pole onto a living tree and expect for that iron pole to start to flourish and, and grow and, 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 you know, become alive like you would do a, a, piece, of the, a piece of the tree, right? Because it's not a living thing, something like, something like that. Okay? And if some of the branches will be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, wet grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, there beareth not the root, but the root thee, because the the, the 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 holy the seed was holy already already so you ain't doing nothing special you just you know this is what this is your lot you are an Israelite so you can't be thinking yourself greater than the the branch that, that has been broken off and grafted back on because they are still part of the family okay thou wilt say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, because of the, because of unbelief, they were broken off. That's right. That's why the Lord cast them away in the first place because they didn't want to listen. They want to, they want to do their own thing just like they're doing now. And how can y'all be grafted in when you don't even believe? Now, look, we we come back to the to the understanding that we are the Israelites and we're standing here, tree, 
we, we say, hey, y'all, you're you, you supposed to be one of us. Come, you know, join on to us so we can get this life and start to grow. But how are they going to even come back and join on to us if they don't believe it in the first damn place? They're going to just, they're going to be like, no, no, no. Okay? Some of them. That's why he said in the beginning, so some shall be saved. It says, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and they and thou stand standing by faith, but not high minded, but fear. For so, for if God spared not the natural branches, take heed, least he also spare not thee. That's right, you gotta stay, you gotta stay still, be uh just humble, man, and hopeful, and hope that the Lord have mercy on us. You know what I'm saying? Because we that's why he's saying. He to endure to the end, cause at any time we could, you know, the Lord could blow our candles out. We've seen. Uh, that's why He let us see Fopi them. That's why He let us see one body and how it shy them. You know what I'm saying? That's why He letting us see Nate not calling on the name. These are serious things, man. Behold, therefore, the goodness of and severity of of Yahweh on them which fail severity, but toward thee goodness. If thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. See how, see, what, what? Fear the Lord, man. He said, Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of Yahweh Shimei Shai on them which fail. Severity. But toward thee, goodness, because he opened up our eyes. He called us. But there's still some out there who's sending damn Christmas trees and shit. Who's putting up Christmas trees right now? Who's going out there buying presents right now? Who don't want to believe that they are Israelites? They rather believe that they're Catholics. They would rather believe that they're part of this great nation because that's decept That's deception, man. Even though back in the day he said the Lord come back down and he divided the nations. So that even you know what I'm saying? If these people hadn't have been doing what they're doing, bringing all everybody in, everybody would still be. Divided in their own nations. Of course, they would mingle every now and then, but they wouldn't be living together, man. That's not what the Lord wanted. So this man come up, come up in your land, talking about them. Let's all be together. That's just a ploy so they can get in there and start draining your country for the resources, man, and putting your people under subjection. You know what I'm saying? Teaching you false ways and and, and customs and stuff. Let's read that one more time. So this is uh, Romans uh, 11, 22. Behold, therefore, the goodness and the severity of Yahweh Shem Shai on them which fail, severity, but toward thee, goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in. So that's what he's saying right there. Hey, the people' hearts is waxed gross. Their eyes are closed. Their ears are closed up. But if they see at any time, if they see with their heart, you know, and hear with their ears and believe, and convert and be healed. But see, he, he says right here, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise they also shall be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, okay, if they turn and they start to believe, shall be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. For if thou wert cut off, cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and wert grafted con contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted unto their own olive tree. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. It's a mystery, but hey. All power to you, how about Shimmy How Shai, the mercies of him that showed it up unto the apostles and elders, you know, to understand this mystery. Least ye should be wise in your own conscience that blindness in part is happening to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. That's right, until everything happens the way it should be happening. Okay? Because the Lord did this in such a way that to trick the heathen in a such a way if you want to think it that way. So they would, you know, because he already knew 
the end from the beginning, man. That hey, they're gonna take this thing and run with it. But so this is gonna give some of them hope to think that they can be saved when they they're not. They're the vessels of wrath, man. Okay, we're the vessels of mercy. So this is really for us, cause they shouldn't be touching this book in the first place. But if they did, they wouldn't see the mysteries behind it, cause it's only for us. And so all Israel shall be saved. See, and as is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. That's right. That's the that's the Messiah who died for our sins and give us this grace. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. And he died, and he, he, he made that contact back because the Lord had turned his face from us. So he became our, the living sacrifice so that the Lord would say, okay, you know what, because of that, yes, all right. All right, so that's for, for the give forgiveness of sins, man, because we couldn't do it by ourselves, man. For this is the covenant... And so Israel shall be saved, as is it written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. So there's got to be that two-thirds out there uh, that would not believe the gospel, and they make themselves enemies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. For the gifts and calling of Yahweh are without repentance. For as, for as ye in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. Even so have these also now been believed, that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. And through the mercy that we um, that the Lord has bestowed on us to uh, turn back and understand and repent, you know what I'm saying, and be saved. Hopefully, we are of that number. Then, through our mercy, through the mercy from Yahweh Shai, because of that, they're able to come back through our loins as babes. And, and you know what I'm saying? So, ultimately, all Israel will be saved that way. For Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai hath concluded them all in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all. So he already done said, you know, that they don't believe it, and they're already written in that two thirds thing. But he's still saying that all will be saved. And the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out? For who have known the mind of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and who have been his counselor? Because he's the most high. Or who hath first given to him, it shall be recompensed unto him again. For of him, and through him, and to him, all are all things. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, y'all. Okay, so... I don't know how long this is, but hey, we 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 on a, we, we on a good path, right? Uh, and I hope this is edifying to everybody. Uh, and hopefully, if you are out there watching this program, you so-called African Americans, you so-called Native American Indians, and you so-called Hispanic, this is for you. This is the gospel of peace. In these last days, the Lord has uh, shined the light down upon us to let us understand that we are the lost 12 tribes of Israel, the, the Hebrew Israelites. Don't believe what they what you hear them on TV. We're not the black Hebrew Israelites. We're the Hebrew Israelites. We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel in this wonderful story that the Creator had made up for us. And the Lord, and the Messiah did say he's coming back. The Messiah is a brown-skinned man like us. He's not that Caucasian man. They, they talk some about some Jesus Christ. Okay, that's not his name, and that's not him. And in these last days, we're out here blowing the trumpet, telling everybody it's time to come back to the understanding, and uh, to the understanding that we are the Israelites, and we we should be trying to the best of our abilities follow the laws as the commandments. 
these heathens have out here done, done tricked us and told us that the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with because the Lord came back and died for our sins, that we can do whatever we want. That's not true. The Lord said, whoever's breaking these laws, statutes, and commandments will be destroyed when he comes back to judge this earth for the wickedness. Okay? Now, this is going to be the last scripture of the night. Of the, of the day. Alright, so at this time, if you can hear these words and you understand these words, man, you're supposed to repent and start uh, listening listening to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man, and get baptized with the word so you can understand more and more. Pray to the Lord, repent to the Lord, tell them about your what you done did, you know, tell them, ask them to open, open your eyes so you can see even more, you know, and thank him for opening your eyes thus far, okay? So this is uh, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 8. It says, harden not your heart. That's right, harden not your heart. And we're talking about me. We're talking about you other Israelites out there that know you're the Israels, that, uh, that actually do study the word and go out on the highways and hedges. You harden not, not your heart also. And all you brothers that's doing this uh, false doctrine that's a little bit off doctrine, mm -mm, I done told you like more, more than one time, man. You might want to just come back to the toolage of a great millstone and, and, you know, stop being so prideful, man. This is the 100% truth right here, Great Millstone. Okay, once again, this is Hebrews chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Harden not your heart as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness, man. Because don't forget, those uh, our forefathers back in the wilderness, they, they saw all the miracles that the Lord had done. They saw how he destroyed the Egyptians and everything. And these fools still went back to worship that, that golden calf. Just like these fools are still putting up these damn Christmas trees and shit in, the, in their house and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> when, your, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works 40 years. Wherefore, I was grieved with, with, with that generation and said, They that do error in their heart, and they have not known my ways, man. They error in their heart, man. They're hard in their heart. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Woo, 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 we don't want to be in that. We don't want to be in that place, man. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any, be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, in the words. Because don't forget, Yahweh Shai said, I am the word. So don't follow the traditions of men and 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 turn your back on the words that's written in the Bible. Follow the words that are written in the Bible, then then you'll be following Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, okay? It says, but, but exhort one another daily while it is called today. And that's what that's that's probably why that, I had that feeling in my gut this morning, because I was like, you know, I knew I had to do something. I see the brethren putting up their their, their things uh daily and everything i want to do the same thing man but i don't want to go off no bs man it's got to be it's got to be sincere you know it's got to be true so i just can't pull nothing out of my booty man so i that's why i want to give it up give all honors and praise to you how about shimmy how shit shy again for sending me this sport sport exhort one another daily while it is called day because you know soon it's going to be night and it's going to pull back this word and that's going to be it. So all your riches that you stacked up, hopefully they you know, will pay off, man. Least any of you be hardened through the difficulties, deceitfulness of sin, Salaki. Yeah, because sin will uh, slowly, it might not do it all at once, but it'll slowly drag your ass back away from the truth, man. So you got to be careful. And that's why he said do that daily. Exhort one another daily to keep yourself well-rooted. For we are made partakers of your Yahweh Hashem and Shai. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. So when you first when you first hear about the truth, you go, you know, you continue to start learning and, and, and getting and getting uh, rooted in it, and you become established and you stay therein. Okay. While it is said, today if we if ye will hear this voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation. That's right. So the first time when you hear that you're an Israelite, man, I pray that you just wake up and be like, wow, you know, because it is the best thing in the world, man. It is, man, to know that we're the Lord's chosen people. And this 
filthy, funky, deceitful, hateful, exploiting, terrible, wicked ass world. It's not the end all be all, man. For some, when they had when they had heard, did provoke. Howbeit, not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. That's why some of them, he had to get rid of a lot of people in, in, in Egypt, man. But with, with whom was he grieved 40 years? Was it not with them that had sin, whose carcass fell in the wilderness? There you go. Because what happened? The Lord killed them, man. Because they were sinners, because they didn't believe, man. But he was grieved by who? Them. Not everybody, just them, the unbelievers, man. And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not. You don't believe it, you can't enter. So we see that ye, that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Okay? And that's it, man. That's all I wanted to put up, bring out because, because of the unbelief, they didn't enter in. So, and, and, and by us doing this work, you know, and uh, trying to the best of our abilities uh, to follow the law, statutes, commandments shows our belief. But by everyone else that's still listening, sorry I keep doing that with my nose, but it just be itching sometimes, man. I don't know what it is. It could be allergies or whatever. But, but to those that's out here still following to the traditions of men, that's still... Uh, Believing in this false God named Jesus Christ, this so-called Jesus Christ, this false God and false idol, right? Even because it says what the Lord looks like in, in, in uh, Daniel 10 and 5 and also Revelation 1 and 12, chapter 1, verse 12. It tells you what the Messiah looks like, but these fools are still growing up in these churches, worshiping this false God and false idol. Why? Because they don't believe the words of the book. They don't agree with it. Oh, no. Uh, no, the, 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 what the man say, uh, the, pre the preachers say over here, that no, all people can, uh, the, hey, that's what the, what the Lord say. Why are you even reading the book then if you don't believe it? Okay, and I don't want to go on on the tangent about it. I want to give all honors and praises to you. How about Hashem, how shy? About Hashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation to the 144 elect of Israel and the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever he goes. Shalom, brothers.